everyone. How you doing today? Happy Friday. Ha ha. Bet you didn't expect to hear that. I was going to say something about uh, like a look at the workshop and blah, 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 but I mixed it up. Ha ha. Take that. <laughs> All right. Well, with enough of that being said, um, I'm just trying to mix up my, uh, my openers here still because it's kind of fun now. It's actually like a little fun thing. I can get a good laugh when I start up. Uh, but uh, anyway, anyway, moving on here. Sorry, I was just gazing at this uh, IW Centurion here by Ice Wolfen. Um, this is the uh, very first creation today. And I've got uh, three for Reforged Eden and three for uh, Vanilla. So uh, these are the uh, Reforged Eden creations right now. And obviously the first one again is the uh, IW Centurion by Ice Wolfen. And this certainly looks like a carrier type of uh, a vessel. Um, has some defense. Um, I do like its uh, decor. It's uh, it's purpose, uh, purposely made to look pretty rusty and things like that. And I kind of uh, I'm kind of liking that. Also with a mix of damage blocks in there, um, which is uh, I've, uh, quite a few of them I've seen around the hall here. You can kind of see the the different different pieces that are damaged there. Nice little uh, accent to it. I do like the uh, this. Uh, block formation on the sides as well it's using a lot of uh curvy blocks in a in kind of a neat way different uh different looking pattern that looks really really neat there adds a lot of detail and things like that on the sides of the ship and then even across like the front here again some more damaged blocks uh the turrets have these little uh little things in front of them there i think that works now um there's a point in time where i i thought that uh, the turrets couldn't fire over those blocks but i think that was changed so do believe that is solid um yeah very cool also the uh asymmetrical approach having the, the whole like control uh tower uh cockpit uh type of thing on the on one side actually that's pretty smart um i did some carrier type uh, creations in the past where i had that in the center or that that type of uh facility in the center but that divides up your landing pad so you only have so much space on either side uh, this way it actually is probably more efficient where because you got this big area on one side so you can park much larger uh, vessels on it, uh, CVs and things like that. So I believe this is made to move around some CVs as well. And it has a big hangar in it too. I, I would definitely uh, definitely say um, very cool, very cool looking uh, ship. I, I think I've seen a variation of this on the Anvil server before too. So. Um, I'm not, it's probably not this, uh, specific version of it, but, uh, maybe I've seen, uh, like earlier works of it or just a different version entirely, but, uh, yeah, a lot of little, uh, detail things added in here, like the piping here and even the, uh, the damage piping over here. Looks like you might have some like problems with cooling or power or something going on there, but, uh, maybe it was, uh, rerouted inside the, uh, system here, the ship. Wow, look at that triple hangar door too. Which kind of makes sense, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna get hit a lot um, from the front side, um, these hangar doors, you know, like one hangar door, it can take some hits, but uh, when you triple it up like that, you can you certainly take a lot more. And as soon as as soon as the hangar door gets uh, like blown up, it's like it, the whole part's gone. It's not like just a couple blocks of it. So, yeah, it does make a lot of sense having um, multiple hangar doors and a bigger thick thick wall like that, a lot a lot more protection. So since I'm on the inside here, let me go to uh, nighttime so we can kind of take a look at what this looks like with lights and uh, things like that. So yeah, nice big old hangar there. I like that. Looks like we've got uh, some uh, production and different uh, storage and things along the sides of the hangar here and a repair bay. Uh, console, you can override the hangar doors. That's cool. Repair bay's off. like the LCDs there. Very nice. Storage bait too. Yeah, there's a lot of storage bays on here too. So we'll we'll take a look at that here um, when we look at the specs of the ship. So we got a lot of fuel section. Oh, it's using uh, old conventional LCDs. Interesting. That, that you know, they don't look so bad in, in, in the right thing either. Um, the good old LCDs. It's kind of neat to see that uh, now and then. Um, since they came out with projectors, you see almost all projectors, but. Um, yeah, you can still do some neat things with the old old school LCDs as well. And yeah, I like uh, I like how the uh, the color differences are are done here. Like you've got uh, kind of a light uh, t 
texture uh, set up over there and kind of a, it mixes it up a lot basically uh, same thing going on with the walls you got some dark areas and light areas um, and gray areas kind of in the middle plus a lot of glass here on the ceiling that is that is cool everything's kind of asymmetrically done here too so it's another uh, another bonus I do like asymmetrical stuff um, it doesn't work with every creation, but, uh, you know, carriers and, and things like that certainly can uh, benefit from uh, asymmetrical approach to them. Very nice. Cargo boxes over here. Looks like we got a lot of production. A couple uh, advanced constructors, four small constructors, O2. Uh, is, yeah. Oh, so we got a bar in here and a sick bay. Owner's cabin. Huh. Well, let's go through here. Let's see what we get to here. Uh, let's go up the floor. I like uh, I like the pipes in the sides of the elevator. There it gives you something to look at in this uh, typically pretty boring space inside an elevator. So we got our owner's cabin here. Ooh, the uh, decor changed a little bit here. We got some uh, some fancy stuff going on here. Looks like some carpeting and some fancy uh, uh, like wooden panels. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Place to uh, place to play Imperium right over here. Uh, nice bed. Nice plant and nice uh, hangar uh, area overlook. Oh, looks like we got a landing pad over the side there too. So we got here. Ah, the bathroom. Must must have the bathroom. Hmm. Surprise! It doesn't have uh, shower curtains. You know, it's you know, with the. Ah, no. This is this is all fancy though. It's got uh, we got our tile on the ceiling here too and marble floor, marble walls. Yeah, nice, nice. And our uh, and the owner gets a uh, a nice uh, a landing pad here for uh, quick uh, quick parking, so you can uh, hop in there and jump on and uh, jump on a, a server or something and play some <laughs> Imperium over here. Uh, <laughs> very nice. Now this looks cool. I like I like the uh, the texture work over here too. That's uh, obviously you can see a lot of uh, decal uh, like the rust texture uh, decals over uh, different places of this. Uh, across the floor and things like that. That is cool. Adds uh, adds some more stuff to see there for sure. Let's go up this way here and see where we end up. Uh, oh, so this is that uh, this is that place where everybody hangs out in the ship here, along with a teleporter. Nice. O2 over there. And uh, yeah, nice. Got some alien crew going on here, uh, taking care of things. We got a oh, we got a pilot seat over here too, and oh, a main thrust option. Very cool. So, yeah, it looks like you can pilot this ship from different places for for sure. Well, let's keep on going on this floor. Oh, and then we got another uh, kind of elevated landing pad over in this section as well. You can see some uh, pipe action going on on the sides over there. And well, let's uh, okay. So this will get us right back down to the hangar floor, I do believe. Yep. All right. Go back up again. And I was looking for a way out to the flight deck. Maybe I just gotta uh, stay on that first elevator I was on. we got here bridge officers quarters okay so we're at the uh, so this should be the third floor then so we're at the blackie bar oh and there's a med bay here oh yeah I did say uh, I did read that it said there's a sick bay and this must be the sick bay I like that oh there's there's the there's the shower curtain I was curious <laughs> I was curious if I was gonna have a shower curtain Usually, you know, with it, yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, so that just goes to a, a bathroom there. Very cool. Looks like we got a cargo box up over here as well. We are actually at the top of the elevator already. Where does this go? Oh, that's interesting. So this is like a different place. So this isn't uh, what I looked at before. I thought I was looking at the uh, the Blackie Bar already, but uh, no, this is actually it over here. Oh, cool. I like how that's done. I like this uh, this big window and this uh, angled wall here, with the uh, the wording across the top there. That is pretty neat. Oh, there's people up there looking down too. 
nice uh, glass here. That looks pretty neat how that's done. I mean, it's just glass, but it, it um, because of how the glass is, it makes it look like this, uh, this surface here is actually three different shades. Because it's really hard to see the, see the glass, but it, it puts uh, basically shadows, I guess you could say, on it. Um, so it kind of makes that look like a texture that's not in the game. Um, that is cool. That is cool. Neat, neat option there. Let me have an officer's quarters. Oh, wow. So, yeah, we have more than just that. I, it has an owner's uh, quarters, but the officer's quarters. Ooh, wow. This is pretty... Uh, Pretty luxurious. No, this is the Sky Bar. Wow, this thing, this thing has a lot of different uh, places in it. So the officer's quarters ha actually has a bar in it. Hmm. That is pretty interesting. I like how that's... Uh, that looks neat. I mean, that's just... Yeah, I see that that, that one block there, but uh, that's neat how the uh, the LCD kind of goes over it. looks makes it look like it's its own different thing. I like that. Just... Little, little stuff like that can really uh, make a lot of difference on these creations. little innovation. Um, that is cool. A lot of uh, different uses of textures and things in this room as well. Different, A little bit different lighting. Let's uh, head over this way. Wow. Nice fancy bathroom over here. Got everything you'd want. Nice, uh, plus a sink. Very nice. That's cool. That is cool. The posters. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. So the um, the officers' uh, quarters area, um, they got their own place, uh, their own their own bar. <laughs> it's kind of like uh, went to Vegas on this ship. <laughs> got to have a nice uh, growing place. I like that. It looks like we've got uh, switches for all the different grow plots over here on, this, on the back wall there. So uh, 36 grow plots. Nice. It's a good good number count for most things. Wow. It gets a little trippy here. So we got this uh, stairway over here. We got that uh, impressive looking uh, uh, armor locker there. And uh, armor repair. Oh, I like this. Ah, so that's that's neat. Nice little touch in there. Uh, kind of almost like a, like a yeah a plaque kind of thing. That's cool. Let's head up the stairs here a minute. Wow. Now we're up to the uh, our first person uh, view over here, and I like that. So we got our uh, another uh, pilot seat there, and which would give you a nice uh, nice view, I think, too. Yeah, seeing what's going on, flying it in first person. And then we've got uh, some more information over here. Oh, Max recommend. Oh, four G planets on your own risk. One G planets, hundred tons. Huh. Very cool. Very cool. I like that. That's kind of uh, it's kind of neat how that's done. Four G planets at your own risk. Okay. Repair bay. Oh, this is neat too. I like the LCDs uh, embedded up in here. Or projected over there that that looks really neat it's kind of yeah you got that uh, armored glass there and those kind of sit on the inside of it looks like a big display screen in in this uh this way and main thrust over here again i like how the switch is mounted up there and the lcd's uh right on there too that's cool that's exactly what you're looking at before you hit the switch and then it looks like we got a quick way out of the ship right over here, too, which is, again, very convenient. Um, yeah, really, really cool ship. Uh, a lot of docking space. Um, looks like it's going to have quite a bit of storage on it. Um, a lot of places to hang out in the ship, too. you got, uh, you know, your uh, your officer's quarters, which is all got, it like, its own, own bar in there. And then you've got some other bars and some more bars and... Yeah, this is like a party carrier. <laughs> oh, it's pretty cool. That is that is cool. I like it. It's got a lot of nice nice little personal touch in there. It looks like a nice place to hang out in. Um, and then we've got oh sensory guns and uh, oh auto and maybe a manual for uh, the sensory guns. Well, let's just kick those on here. Got some main thrust. And uh, so hangar doors are closed. Oh, it still says thrusters are off. 
Hmm. I guess they are. Hold on. Let me see what's in, in the P menu options here. So gravity generator. That's that's nice. You know, I never think about putting gravity generators on a, on a switch. Could do that, though, because they don't really need to be uh, sitting on all the time. And usually in these games, um, if you're planet side, you don't need the gravity gener uh, generator. If you're in space, it's usually quicker not to have it on um, and fly around with a jetpack. So um, it's got a hibernate mode, too, which I, I, I would have to believe that it has to do with uh, power conservation. Now, one other thing before I... Uh, uh, something I don't think I showed on this is on the bottom side here... It has a bunch of solar panels. Um, so we got some large solar panels, and it looks like some uh, some of the smaller solar panels here, but kind of a lot of those on the bottom side. Um, so that's going to get you a lot of a lot of power um, when it's just kind of parked somewhere, which is really really cool. Um, now, one thing I didn't see in the ship when I was flying through here is like uh, uh, an area for big parts, uh, you know, with the warp core and the and the power generators and things like that. So let me uh, let me get back in here a minute and try to figure out where I went wrong. Um, I bet you I'm missing some more uh, sections here somewhere. Not sure where though. I've been all through here. I've been through here. I've been up to the top. I've been in there. I would think it would have to be out this direction in the back here somewhere. Uh, that doesn't go anywhere there. This is the landing pad. Oh, these things are uh, these things are hidden somewhere. They, yeah. I'm gonna just uh, fly through a ball here. Oh, now yeah, look at this. We've got more stuff back over here. Oh, there's a blast door. Off the back of the elevator. Oh, I missed that. So. Double bottom access to fuel and O2 tanks. Oh wow, look at all this down under here. So yeah, that is a lot of fuel and O2 tanks along the bottom here. It's, uh, where are the generators? And uh, all the big parts. Hmm. A mystery through here aha gravity generator ah shield and generator okay yeah here's here's where we got some big parts going on here all right I was just curious I was just kind of curious on where they were I didn't didn't see them uh, really jump out oh and it looks like uh, maybe we don't have a uh, warp core but this or possibly I don't know I can't say that for sure um, but it looks like uh, this would be a location to add one. I believe they're uh, what, two blocks tall, three blocks uh, wide, and five blocks long. Looks like it would fit there. Um, so may maybe uh, maybe it doesn't have one stock uh, due to C CPU reasons or something like that. I'm not sure. Or maybe it does have one, and I'm just uh, completely mistaken. Well, anyway, let's take a look at some specs here. So yeah, we're at uh, uh, two point or under 2.1 million CPU, so it does it doesn't uh, need any uh, quantum's or auxiliary cores, things like that. Um, 25 hour and 30 minute build time. Size class eight, eight fuel tanks installed in here. Eight oxygen tanks. Got a uh, 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 defensive uh, weaponry. I would say, I would say, you know, to shoot down the drones and things that would pester you when you're out doing your business. Um, and it appears I got my thrusters off, so let me, uh, let me turn those on. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, specs here again. So our speeds, we got 52 ms forward, uh, seven strafing, seven down, which yeah makes sense. It makes sense. It's not really intended. I, I, I to be. Uh, you know, maneuvering in space, uh, taking on enemy battle cruisers and things like that. This is a carrier, primarily. Um, carrier slash bar. <laughs> Multiple bars. Like a Vegas Strip Hotel kind of carrier. You know, one of those kind of things. No, it's cool. I, li I like to add that stuff in ships myself. It's just got, it's kind of fun. You got a little extra room, and it's like, hey, w w what could you put here? And it's, it's cool, and it, it's uh, more to see when you walk through it, too. So... 
can't can't complain about that at all. 52 ms uh, lift and 14 ms uh, reverse as well. So yeah, uh, looks like it would get around just fine. That's that's impressive uh, forward speeds. Um, now obviously we kind of looked at the CPU already. Let's take a look at the storage on here. So oh yeah, very nice. Uh, labeled and colored uh, storage base here. So we got an input at 320, another 320, our uh, ammo, 320, output. Output is okay, output uh, 1600, so that's probably a box. Uh, Pentaxid, ooh, 90K for Pentaxid on top of that. Uh, Decon is uh, 16K, Medic 8K, makes sense. Uh, okay, fridges, fuel. 320k here for fuel, cargo 320, another 320 for loot one and loot two, and storage bay two. Yeah, wow, it's got a lot of storage on here. Miscellaneous is a box. Um, I think a lot of this stuff maybe is a, our boxes. It's hard to say sometimes. Trade. Yeah, it's really uh, set up here for. Uh, a nice organization and things like that um, but it certainly has a lot of 320k storage bays in here too um, so one two three no nope. uh, not entirely uh, well I don't exactly know how much storage it has in it I'd have to do a lot of uh, adding um, for that but uh, it definitely has quite a lot um, and a lot of these uh, has a lot of big bays too um, Take all, I don't know, not that one. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. That was a 320. Um, input these, yeah, at least eight 320s um, on here. Uh, but some other stuff too. I mean, so, um, there was another 90K on top of that. Um, so yeah, definitely a lot of storage, a lot of room to. Uh, to park stuff, to move around HVs, SVs, park uh, CVs up on top, um, and and get around. So yeah, really really cool. It looks like it would work well in game for uh, uh, everything. Plus you can add some more stuff in there. Oh yeah, I was gonna check on the um, um, warp drive. Oh yeah, it does have an advanced warp drive in it and an advanced shield. Okay, okay, I, yeah. So that's extra room for other parts that I was uh, seeing over there. So it does have. And it has actually two advanced generators in here, too. So I, I missed that going through the ship. Okay, so yeah, it comes it comes with all your uh, main stuff. Uh, I wasn't sure, so sure on the warp drive, but yeah, it certainly says it has one. Um, and nine uh, constructors. So four of those I know were small, but it also had some uh, probably advanced constructors. Uh, well, we've seen some of those, too. So very cool. Again, this is the uh, IW uh, Centurion by Ice Wolfen. Nice, nice, uh, nice decor on the ship there. So next, I wanted to uh, take a look at this uh, space station over here, and this is the uh, Odyssey station by Rakuna. Um, looks, uh, yeah, cool looking station. I like these, uh, the big ring set up here, um, and uh, looks like we got some uh, kind of coordinated texture lights going on as well. Uh, again, kind of using more of a, a rougher texture there to give it some. Uh, some some definition in there and kind of give it that i don't know a little little bit of a rundown look but uh also looks pretty uh like it's a pretty good shape here too i like these uh like these areas over here oh look at that those are grow plots they're on the ceiling though or is this whole thing meant to be oh this is going to be interesting Kind of curious on how the gravity setup is done on here. But, okay, so, yeah. This would be the center. And then, uh, I bet you these rooms, the ceilings are, yeah. Like, okay, so we got some more farm plots here. I know I'm just flying through here. I was just got, got a little preoccupied with that. So we've got uh, grow plots facing this direction there and grow plots facing the other direction there. And then we've got these other uh, mo uh, like rooms over on the sides here too. That is pretty cool. I didn't actually know you could do that um, in a creation and have plants grow and stuff, but I, I, I recently seen something like that before. And uh, yeah, it did seem to work. So 
I'll have to experiment with that someday myself. So yeah, look at this. So it looks like this is an entry that was, uh, you know, if I was uh, flipped upside down, if I was in space, I would have probably come in this the right way. Um, and it looks like we got another entry over here that's in this direction. And uh, we got some uh, got some crazy stuff over here. Oh, look at that. See how that's, uh, yeah, each one of these levels is rotated in a different direction. That is that is pretty interesting. I didn't realize that. So yeah, it'd be probably a little better for me to look at this in space. Um, um, I think everything's gonna be a little awkward on planet side the way I'm doing it. It's obviously it's a space station, so it's meant to be in space. Um, hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna fall. <laughs> uh, that is really interesting though on on the gravity setup. I wonder how it's. Uh, how the mechanisms uh, handling that, or if you just kind of float and it doesn't really uh, uh, use a lot of gravity. I'm curious. Oh yeah, everything's going to be sideways here. If I get out of God mode, I think it won't help at all because I'll just fall and then I'll have to use a jetpack to get around, which would probably be rough. But yeah, this would certainly look different. Like all these uh, levels here be at different access, so you'd kind of see it more like this. Oh, yeah, I kind of feel bad now. I uh, probably should have spawned this in space. I was just trying to keep them all together. Space lighting usually um, doesn't, you know, you don't get very many options there. So I, I, uh, I usually like to try to spawn things on the uh, planet's surface. Um, oh, yeah, look at that. This is, this is really neat. Yeah, how everything was just made at these uh, these different angles here. Um going around the, the, the creation. I am curious. I'm going to have to try to find gravity generators. Um, if I were just to guess, either I would think it would have no gravity generators or it would have four gravity generators that um, are facing different directions and maybe sensors um, in the area would turn on a gravity generator. Like if I was in this room, it would turn on a gravity generator that would uh, plant me on the uh, the floor over here when I was walking through. Um, and, you know, so it's the same thing going on for any uh, sides of the, uh, of the, the, the base here or the station. Oh, wow. Oh, this is crazy. SV Dot Garden. Oh, wow. So this actually kind of uh, wraps all the way around here. Oh, man, I should have had this out in space. Sorry about that. I don't really want to remake the video at this point, but um, I do believe I should have had this uh, definitely spawned in space to uh, show this one properly. Um, so I'm up on the top of it right now. It looks, yeah, it looks really cool, too. Um, obviously, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of function in here. You got a lot of uh, grow plots. I like how that's done up there too. It's seeing the uh, the glass railings as kind of an extra uh, decorative item that goes across there. There's a lot of stuff going on here too. That looks uh, a lot of detail, and the uh, the O2 uh, or the ventilators there. That looks kind of neat. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Looks like you just walk around and this whole thing is to be like a uh, a nice uh, hallway. And you know, you know, in the near future here, uh, I actually I'm starting to think in the fairly near future we're gonna have uh, some space stations out there that are gonna use this kind of a round uh, setup and spin and create artificial gravity. I've seen. Uh, Seen some stuff, and uh, it looks like uh, they're getting pretty serious. They even know how to build them, and uh, yeah, we'll see uh, how that goes. I, but I wouldn't doubt within uh, 10 years' time we have um, some larger space stations out there that actually can uh, artificially create gravity by uh, spinning, and uh, you know, like a like a merry-go-round, and having everybody kind of uh, get uh, glued to the uh, the floor, going around in a circle, like the station's doing basically. I don't know if I'm seeing everything in here. It's hard to look at the side room, so um, the way I've got it set up, because I can't, uh, in God mode, you don't have a pitch option where I can look at it properly, but it just, for some reason, 
doesn't give you that option in God mode. Um, well, here's a nice, uh, nice meaty production area. Try to look at it this way. Yeah. All right. So, a lot of production down this side. Uh, a little, a little disorienting, but <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Again, yeah, I really should have spawned this in space. I, I apologize to the author uh, on this. I uh, should have uh, maybe done it done it that way. I didn't realize it was uh, set up in this uh, in this setup. Uh, that makes a lot of sense now, doesn't it? <laughs> I didn't realize it was set up with this setup. <laughs> uh, wow. It's, it's bigger than I thought, too. I looked at it, and it look, uh, didn't look like it was going to have all that much interior space on it from the outside. And then as I'm getting in here, there's all kinds of stuff going on here. And, uh, yeah, trying to or orientate yourself to each each room here. That is cool. That is just slick. Slick idea. Out-of-the-box thinking on uh, what you can do in Imperium. I am hearing a uh, either a gravity generator or a... Uh, oh, there's a gravity generator. Yeah. See, that's... Okay, so this is kind of what I thought was happening. So you're going to have a gravity generator uh, facing this direction, which would put gravity uh, on the floor here, uh, or on this this floor, and there's probably other ones, um, probably uh, four different gravity generators, uh, probably one on the top side, one on the bottom side, one on the other side, all facing different directions. Um, and I bet you there's some kind of... Uh, Either they're just located at the right distance apart, or maybe there's some uh, sensors in there picking up where you are in the station, and that activates uh, whatever gravity generator uh, should be on um, on that side of the station. I'm just taking some guesses here. Um, yeah, gives you some ideas, though, doesn't it? And uh, some things that you could do here. A lot of solar panels, too. So yeah, this is this is really really cool. I'm not sure if I've seen every interior space, and I know I didn't show them right because it's kind of hard to hard to do that with the camera the way it uh, locks you in place here. But uh, yeah, very cool, very cool. And this is again the uh, the Odyssey Station by Rakuna for Reforged Eden. Um, actually, we better look at some specs here too. So it's not going to break the bank on CPU at all. Had it quite a bit in there though. Um, but mainly for production and things like that, um, production and farming. Um, so uh, use a 600, 1,000 CPU. Wow, it's bigger than I thought too. Size class 16. So yeah, pretty big station here. Four fuel tanks. I know I had a lot of, uh, I had quite a lot of solar panels on here too. Eight oxygen tanks. Uh, 23 hour and seven minute build time, and it does have defense to uh, 10 minigun uh, turrets. Uh, located out on the uh, the hall there to shoot down those pesky drones, probably. Um, very nice, very nice. Uh, out of the box thinking, really cool, uh, like a ring design. And yeah, I was kind of surprised to see that these uh, these rings are actually more than just decorative; they're actually hallways that uh, wrap around here. Um, so yeah, it'd be really interesting. I might have to look at this one again in space sometime. Um, to get a better sense of uh, how that all works out, but I, I, it looks like it would certainly work, and it looks like it was set up uh, specifically for the reason of, uh, you know, using multiple different gravity generators and like having these uh, modules kind of that are attached to the uh, the frame at different angles. Um, that's slick. That's slick. There's some pretty interesting things you can do with Imperium. Think a little bit out of the, out of the box here, like the, like this design, and uh, kind of kind of makes a lot of sense. All right, well, anyway, very, very cool. Um, so next here, I wanted to take a look at something a little bit different here. Let me get, try to get the lights a little bit better here again. Um, and this is by Vermillion, and this is the Talon construction set. for. Uh, um, and this is uh, basically, it's, uh, I showed something like this before um, of a different uh, setup. Um, but these are all parts that you would copy and paste and put together to create larger structures. And I, I like to look at these because it's it's really neat, you know. Um, I can't imagine that someday too that uh, if there was like some coding added in where it could take like these different parts and uh, use uh, an algorithm of, of some form to um, 
place them out and kind of procedurally make uh, you know POIs and places out there by using all these parts and putting them together. Um, I think uh, that would be a really neat thing to see a game like this do. And then because there's it's a giant galaxy and there's only so many POIs. Even if there was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of POIs that were made, they you would still um, you know they would have to repeat a ton of times because there's just so many places to go. Um, that uh, having something like this, um, especially if you could uh, tie it into a procedural type of uh, algorithm, uh, then it could keep on mixing everything up. So every POI, uh, a lot of these POIs you would go to, of like the town nature, they'd all be, you know, different. Um, uh, the, the layout would be different. Obviously, you'd, you'd see some, um, you know, some of the same stuff going on um, with uh, how the, uh, the shapes and everything were, were made, but it would be, all be different, so you wouldn't know exactly how to get through it. I, I guess I would relate that to uh, like a lot of the dungeons you would see in Skyrim or something like that. They were they're done in that manner too. I mean, I think some were hand done, and others were uh, just kind of uh, procedurally made, or m maybe maybe in that one they were all hand done, but um, it had parts like this that would fit together to make them. Um, and this looks really neat too. I like to see these, uh, like these concrete textures, concrete, probably some wood textures in here. I bet too in places, um, with just a, a totally different look. And that looks really nice too. I like the, uh, I like this curvy hallway section going on here. Yeah. Neat looking pieces. Yeah, look at that. That is one heck of an opening there. Oh, and this block looks really neat, especially the way it's textured in the corners. That's neat. Oh, look at the texturing on the ceiling here. Yeah, it's using a lot of uh, a lot of curvy, funky blocks and things like that. And so, th so this looks like a lit area, and this, this looks like a uh, like parts that are kind of made to uh, not be as bright. And I think that maybe they're a little. I think it's yeah, it's just different over here. That's neat too. Yeah, the whole decor is a little different here. Well, that almost looks like it's like a bubble. <laughs> That's cool. Well, I'm liking that uh, reflection off there. So yeah, the the whole thing is really really neat. Um, and all these parts, I was just kind of taking a look at the the detail level on these parts, and it's really well done. Um, this roof line here, this is this is pretty crazy looking too. I, I yeah, the the use of these little that spiky block. Uh, I think that is one of the least used blocks I've ever used. Um, I think I've only used it a couple times on a scar creation um, in the past, but uh, yeah, that looks really neat. That looks really neat the way it's done. It's a lot of like detail, and it kind of looks like some kind of neat roofing there, especially when you can see the uh, silhouette of uh, it when there's nothing like blocking that view in the background on the gates. All these different parts. Wow. Um, Take a look at the rest of these over here. <laughs> That's really cool. And obviously, the way this goes is you take like a, a piece like this, and say you took this this chunk, and then you copied it, and maybe you rotated it, and you copied it over here, and then you added in like uh, walls, and just made whatever layout you wanted. Um, and that's kind of what this is designed to do. And and uh, obviously, Vermilion is one of the uh, the, the key people uh, behind uh, Project Eden and Reforge Eden and uh, something like this, I could see why um, uh, this this could generate a bazillion different um, POIs for the uh, Talon, and uh, you could uh, just you know, like reuse these uh, these parts and build like new places fairly quickly um, for the game this way. And um, once you know once the hard part's done, which is building all these uh, essentially like parts that uh, you know are going to fit together that's just neat though and the stuff looks really neat too I like these gates and, and the use of texture choices um, oh and look at this section over here wow that looks really that looks really cool it's got uh, yeah so I was always kind of curious what the Talon um, look would kind of be I mean we've seen some Talon POIs in the game they're typically kind of a lot of wood, um, 
and things like that. This really kind of expands on that, where they got, uh, you know, looks a little more modern and things like that, and really, really sharp and detailed. Look at the roof line and stuff like that. That's just neat. But it's still, yeah, it's got the wood roof, but it's heavily expanded from what I've seen Talon uh, do before. And all kinds of different hallways and places to go through, and yeah, like, that's cool. That's cool. A lot of time and effort and work goes into this. Oh, I keep on seeing more parts that just are really super interesting. Like this here, too. I love the roof line. I like uh, that, uh, the way the, the edges were done. So it's kind of rounded, and it kind of goes up at this angle, and then it does a, uh, a change in the angle. So it goes from a 22.5 or a 22.5 to a 45 degree at the, uh, the peak uh, in the window sections here. Yeah. I could look at this for a long time. Anyway, yeah, if, if anybody uh, wanted to try it, yeah, grab this blueprint and, um, you know, hop into uh, creative mode and uh, start copying and pasting around parts and put them together to build, uh, I don't know, a whole, man, you could build a whole city with this. Uh, so that is, that is really, really cool. So many parts to look at, so many uh, variations here, too, like all of these. Uh, a couple of these have double windows. These have single. Here's a corner piece, and the stuff on the roof is different on different ones here. And yeah, a lot of those, a lot of those concrete textures and things, and wood textures. It's really cool. Really cool. Uh, that's neat. Um, so this one here is probably not going to be into it, uh, like the specs and the storage and things like that. Obviously, in this form, it's size class eight. Um, but yeah, it's it's got minimal what it needs for uh, enough fuel so it can turn on so you can look at it. But uh, other than that, this is uh, clearly designed to be like POIs. Or if you're going to make a custom base out of this, you could do that as well. Um, so a lot of these specs are are not going to be uh, not that it uses much either. Look at that CPU; it's so low, it's uh, it's 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 crazy. So it's not going to have storage and things like that, and it's not really what this is about. Um, Really cool, though. Really cool. Like it. Um, I bet you we'll see POIs in the game using this set. Um, if they're not there already, I, there, there probably is. I, uh, there's a lot uh, I need to uh, check out in the game, which I got I to gotta get to. I didn't get my new headphones yet, so I, uh, I ordered them like a week ago now. It said three to five business days. I'm getting nervous. I, they didn't send me an email that, 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 that they, they took my money. But they didn't send me an email with shipping information, and I haven't seen them at my door yet. So I'm getting a little nervous. Uh, I want to get my new headphones so I don't have to suffer with the, these anymore. Um, anyway, let's move on to the next part here. And I'm going to get into uh, vanilla now. And we've got three more creations to look at. I warn you, one of those creations is gigantic. <laughs> Or uh, ginormous, ginormous, which means it was giant, and on top of being giant, it's enormous. So that's called ginormous, by the way, if you haven't heard that word before. Um, I just made it up, but uh, that is my impression, ginormous. <laughs> so uh, let's see. And speaking of this ginormous one that's coming, um, you know, let's turn the view to, over to Mr. Ginormous first. This is the Golden Enforcer. Triumph, um, which is an advanced core vanilla build by Fuji. Um, let me get the light back on here. Or set up. And this is a, uh, I believe this is a size class 86. So it is a very, very large, um, like capital mothership kind of thing. Um, and it's, uh, has a lot of power going on here too. A lot of thrusters, a lot of big turrets and things um a lot of big turrets i ain't kidding you uh when you when you see all these uh artillery turrets you understand that they're they're pretty big and then you see how many that this ship actually has on it it's uh it's it's pretty crazy i would hate to uh get anywhere near this ship with anything um because you would get hit so badly by so many uh big guns and things it would I think you you would want to instantly try to get away um and yeah trying to take something this big down you would I guess 
you might have a better better luck trying to do a kamikaze mission and fly in it somehow and then uh pull a an anakin and uh like destroy the fusion well it does, probably doesn't have a fusion reactor but <laughs> destroy the power systems in it because there's no way you're going to sit there and try to fight this thing um not with anything i ever made i bet you there's ships out there that could um fight this maybe but um yeah i've never i've never made anything that even close that could uh deal with something like this this is this is uh this is crazy here um really cool though unusual coloring it's kind of uh it's kind of uh almost has a, a bit of i don't know i keep on thinking like a bit like a egypt theme but not necessarily it's just it's different it's uh kind of uh yeah the the yellow and the black and the red and the gray it's got some green on it um I was just kind of taking a look at the, uh, the block work going on here, though. That is that is definitely interesting. I like that uh, formation, how it's uh, kind of cut there at that angle, and then you got these uh, these ridges here uh, going along there. Uh, I, I will say, though, it does it does, uh, does affect my frame rate pretty good <laughs> looking at this one. Um, and I was going to not have a landing pad here to... Um, just to lower things down, but it really didn't make much of a difference. And the, the, a couple other creations here could use a landing pad. This was a, a little a little too big, and I don't think it's meant to land. Honestly, I don't think it has landing gear. Um, wow, look at all this stuff going on here. And then in the center of the ship too, it's just it's like open air. Like this is a big courtyard kind of thing in the middle here. I like these angled. Um, corridors there and then all this is in theme so you kind of see this this kind of pattern in uh different places on the ship and yeah some different colors going on here too you know i didn't realize i had my cursor and everything on again sorry about that um yeah look at that different colors going there and just tons and tons of uh turrets and things like that going on big turrets we'll have to look at the number the total count on uh turrets on here I'm just curious and these look like they would be like big big bombs or missiles or something like that i, th I think is the uh the general intent there just curious i'm gonna fly in there oh yeah and they're packed full of uh looks like fuel and looks like fuel <laughs> a lot of fuel holy smokes they always have fuel in them oh my goodness I bet you this has a lot of fuel tanks, too. Wow, look at this. So every one of these is... Wow. Yeah, well, it's going gonna, it's, uh, gonna to cost you quite a bit at the pump, but uh, it'll probably last quite a while <laughs> uh, when you fill this thing up. <laughs> these are fuel on this side, too. I just got to check. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a lot of fuel tanks. So they're all kind of there, so, yeah. That is that is that is pretty crazy. I like this uh, the block work here too, making these uh, these strips uh, there with the texture lights. We'll have to take a look at this at night too. There's obviously quite a few texture lights going on here in various places. It's a big big uh, craft to to look at though. So I don't think I'll make it through all of the ship unless we want a, a two three hour video here. But um, wow, that is that is crazy. It takes a lot of a lot of time and effort to make these uh, huge, huge creations. I can't imagine how much interior space this has in it as well. And even that, these are, uh, yeah, all these big ones here, these are the uh, the XL thrusters too. And it's got a lot of them. Um, so obviously there's some copy and pasting uh, used here too. It looks like, you know, maybe one of these was set up and then you could copy it over four times. Same idea with the uh, the, the side um, plating or uh, shielding or something like that, which I, I always like. I always think this kind of thing looks really neat on a lot of ships. Like big old plates that kind of stick out from the sides there. Oh, and we got some reverse thrusters here too. Well, that's interesting how those are done. They're kind of wrapped around this this area here, huh? Very cool. Oh, look at this down the center here. Holy smokes! All right, so let's uh, let's see. We're flying in with the SV, heading this this direction here. 
super size, he goes max, 18, whatever. Security. It is our priority and your risk. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like I've got a repair bay as soon as you come in. I gotta assume that this would be, well, at least one of the main hangers. I don't know what's all in this ship yet, but uh, quite a bit obviously here. So it looks like we got some uh, landing bays over there and we even got some turrets on the insides. Wi-Fi uh, in the corner there, but uh, yeah, it's gonna need a uh, good Wi-Fi coverage on something this big too. So I bet you it looks like it's set up that way. Oh, hey here, let me. Uh, I'm not sure. I see lights, but I don't see them on right now. Um, I'm wondering. Let me check P menu options to see if we've. Oh, hold on. Let me turn on the lights. Okay, so we got some lighting here. Huh, interesting. Wow. No, this is just a uh, that's a very very large creation here. That's pretty neat though. A lot of uh, a lot of lights going on. I like the uh, the walls, the little subtle details like the uh, the curved uh, section on the floor there. Oh, and this is different too. These are those uh, little angled, like thin block things, but they're uh, they're actually texture lights in this case. So that that is that is pretty cool. We got going over this way. Oh, this is a staircase. Okay, and that goes to the outside of the ship yet. Um, obviously, a gravity generator over there. I'm sure this ship has quite a few of those going on too. I like this, uh, oh, this this is like outdoors, just, okay, so we got a force field over here, so we're airtight in here, and then this is like, goes straight outside, across like a, uh, almost a bridge going over to the other, other side over here. That's crazy. A big old uh, hangar side space on this side here, too. So let's go up this ramp all the way here. Offline protection looks like right over there. And we've got security. And this is kind of looking, wow. Is that, a, that probably a different hangar? Yeah, it looks like we've got a, a, a lot of security people here. It looks like our teleporter, nice. And what is this? That's an interesting display. So yeah, it's got you got your armor lockers and an armor repair there, but it's like a it's like a structure in itself. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And it looks like a uh, full med bay over here, and we got some bathrooms. Uh, the the men's bathroom. Uh, let's see. I just gotta see. Yep, woman's bathroom. Different color schemes on both. And uh, this is uh, it says craft, so yeah, force fields on the inside here. Oh, holy smokes! <laughs> okay, so that's that's one of the side hangers there that I think I was looking at before. So it's part of the same. Um, wow, holy smokes! This is uh, this is all storage in here. Oh wow. There's a lot of storage space going down that strip there. And then it looks like a, uh, uh, I would say a pretty large farm going on here too. And these are all, wow, those are strafing thrusters, aren't they? Hmm. I like the lighting on the, the ceiling there that uh, kind of projects over like that. Looks pretty neat. I, I know the, the game only draws them so far out, but uh, yeah, that is pretty cool. Let's uh, see what's going on in this farm here. I don't know if it has enough grow plots. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, this is uh, intent for some serious farming. I can't imagine having to harvest all this. I guess you would only probably have to do it once um, in a playthrough, though, <laughs> because that is a lot. That is a lot. That is a lot, a lot. In fact, by the time you're done picking it, uh, half of the stuff might spoil on you. <laughs> Um, and, oh, wait, you know, I didn't even think about that. This probably isn't the only farm in the either. Here, I'm going to fly through the hall here a minute. Oh, no. No, we've got another one like that. Holy smokes. Might be the largest farming section I've seen in a uh, creation. But then again, this is a very, very big creation. So 
one could expect large farms in here and i and i'm seeing a lot of storage bays going on here too so i have a feeling this thing has a ridiculous amount of storage in it as well um and farms and uh and turrets um what's going on over here so this looks pretty neat like these uh these big housings here that uh uh, indicating some kind of like radiation or something going on so oh and you can walk on top of them oh fuel is this more fuel this is more fuel holy smokes i'm gonna have to yeah i'm definitely have to look at the uh the, the fuel tank count on this um because yeah even with those the the things on the exterior of the ship that was a lot of fuel and if these things are all full of fuel too which kind of look like they are. Um, it's probably going to take the record for the most amount of fuel tanks I've ever seen on the ship. So here's another gravity generator. It looks like a, a lot of uh, thrusters. That's, that's a cool little setup there. All those are done. So it looks like up and down thrusters. Uh, big sections of that. Uh, big generator over there. More fuel tanks. <laughs> Don't have enough fuel tanks. <laughs> no. Holy smokes, look how big this thing is. Wow. And another, uh, another main generator there, and these are all side thrusters, fuel tanks, ginormous farms, ginormous storage sections. Um, wow. Okay, so now we're in the center section of the ship. I did want to see what that looked like at night, too. But, uh, okay, so I think we've, uh, oh, man, these are all on the top side, too. Are these fuel, too? Holy smokes. Yes, they are. <laughs> I didn't even notice those. Woo! Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to mentally think, how many fuel tanks does this have in it? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put, uh, uh, just a guess, I haven't looked at the specs, but I'll say it's got 250. Random number, just made it up. We'll see, though. We'll see in a bit. Um, so, okay. So, I remember crossing, I believe it was this catwalk, unless there's another one below. Was it that catwalk? Oh, it might have been the one below. Yeah, it's probably the one below. Okay. So, we got another whole deck up here. So, I know I've seen this, uh, this room here uh, with the security and the med bay and the teleporter. So... Uh, I know I'm flying through a little bit here, but uh, yeah, this thing's uh, this thing's big. I'd hate to have to try to walk through everything on foot and not in God mode. That would take a long time to get from uh, different places here. Yeah, I'm just following this uh, the staircase up here. All right, so it looks like we're kind of I don't know if we're at the bridge or not. No, I won't say we're at the bridge yet. We're just uh, got a lot of passenger seats over in this section here. A lot of uh, floor space. Looks like, uh, oh yeah, a way kind of peering down over some of the hangar space below. I like this setup over here. Oh, it's got more than one shield. So we got two shields, and it looks like our uh, taxi tank and warp drive all mixed in here. Nice, nice looking display for all that stuff. That looks pretty cool. Engine room. Jetpack and safety gear are required. Oh, so you need a jetpack to even go in the engine room. So, yeah, I see some generators on the sides here. And wow, look at that. These are all thrusters. Yeah, those are uh, the backside of what we've seen kind of on the on the front, the uh, the curved th uh, thruster emplacement, emplacements there. That looks, uh, that, that, wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. This thing is just, I can't imagine the amount of square foot that's in this in this uh, uh, ship. It's just, yeah, it's just big, 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 big ship. That was just uh, one side. Oh, yeah, you know, you got to have uh, this be another engine room. And the way this, uh, the back area of the ship is kind of set up in like, uh, like quad different, um, areas. Um, I wouldn't doubt there's more of those engine rooms somewhere too. 
Let's get to this uh, central elevator, though. I was trying to make my way up to where I believe the bridge is. Holy smokes. Uh, wow, so then there's this big area here, and yep, and here's where I thought the bridge was. Oh, look at that ramp coming up to the bridge and the big window out the back there. I like those uh, texture lights uh, kind of mounted in the in, in the sides there, too, or the, or the way the block work's done over here, having the, uh, the red texture lights going down the middle. That looks pretty neat. Yeah, quite a few more texture lights going on all over the place here. Wow. So, yeah, that's... Wait a minute. This Is this the bridge? Yeah, wow. Even this. Look at the amount of... What are these? Hold on. <laughs> these are what I think they are. Yeah, these are drills. Okay, so you could actually do some drilling. You could kind of, like, keep the bottom part of the ship, like, uh, under... Uh, asteroid or, or whatnot and then uh, uh, kind of drill it there it's a cool looking bridge too I like the uh, the, the glass design and formation there that looks pretty neat just curious what's going on inside these areas oh storage big jeez do you see the number of controllers here holy smokes <laughs> Wow. Wow. Uh, is yeah, that's um I can see why this has an advanced core and you and needs one. I got I'm really curious now on the CPU on this too. But yeah, advanced, uh, advanced core in vanilla be, basically means you don't have to really care about CPU. Um well, I like these top landing pads too. Sorry, I got a little sidetrack there. This looks really neat. Um hold on, let me get daylight back on. I want to see is this glassed off or something on the top? Or is it just... No, it's not. There's no glass here. Okay, so that's just a nice uh, landing pad. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. That would obviously get us back down into uh, different parts of the ship here. Oh, yeah, right off from uh, where the uh, the bridge is. Wow. Wow. So this is uh, quite the extreme capital ship here. Um, big, big capital ship. Um yeah, you, you just wouldn't want to mess with it. I know it's got a lot of fuel tanks, and you could try to, like, target those fuel tanks, but I don't, I don't think it's going to do anything to deter this ship from flying and killing you. <laughs> but uh, uh, let's, let's start to take a look at some specs here. All right, well, to start with, obviously, holy smokes, uh, 100 million, 104 million CPU. Um, so... Yeah, advanced core, again, it's going to be required on something like this. I don't think I have enough fuel. No, I probably don't have enough fuel on me to fill this thing up. Uh, okay, I'm really curious on some statistics here, though. So we're at size class 84. I'm looking at the uh, the thrust. Wow, I didn't expect that. I mean, hell, you know, this thing has a lot of thrusters on it. So, yeah, these numbers seem quite impressive for something this big. Um Definitely quite impressive. Uh, so 89 MS4, 29 strafing, 47 up and down, 19 reverse. Um, okay, RCS zero. Uh, thruster count, uh, back front, oh my goodness. Hundreds of thrusters. Um, yeah, I'd say over 140, uh, God. So that's a hundred right there. That's uh, over 300 thrusters on here. Um, probably closer to 400 thrusters. 63 hour and eight minute build build time. Um, 72 retractable artillery turrets. 72 of those. Whew. Uh, 44 minigun turrets. Uh, t uh, 24 flak. 24 plasma. Uh, oh, the, uh, 44 retractable minigun turrets, so we got another 46 non-retractable. Uh, some more flak over here, too. And 16 uh, drill modules as well. Okay, oxygen, 460 oct oxygen tanks. And, oh, it's, more, it's, it's more than I thought. It's more than I thought by a lot. Fuel tanks. 
just under 2,000 fuel tanks. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. That, that, it can hold a lot of fuel. A lot of fuel. Uh, again, if you filled this thing up, it would be very, very expensive, but you probably never need to put any fuel in it ever again. It would just have fuel forever. Um, that 16 generators in here, too. Jeez. Jeez, this is, it is, it is definitely, um, definitely pretty crazy. Now, this is, uh, uh, one, in the, in that top, top range of, uh, the larger ships that I've, uh, seen. Um, I think I've spawned in a couple things before that were pretty, pretty ginormous as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is crazy. I think this would take the record, though, for, like little things like how many fuel tanks it has or how many artillery turrets does it have. I don't think I've ever seen a ship come close to this in, uh, in specs that way. Um, yeah, really cool. Again, this is the uh, uh, Golden Enforcer uh, Triumph uh, by Fuji. Um, yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy ship. Uh, really cool looking, uh, unique styling. Uh, I don't, you know, it kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, something Stargate-y, like Egyptian futuristic spaceship kind of thing. But I, I you know, I, I can't, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's unique. It's definitely unique. Anyway, next on the list here, uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the, the Zagor, Glor, I'm sorry, Zagor by uh, uh, RS by Yukon. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh man, I totally screwed up the name here. Zaglor RS Yukon MK2 by uh, Zertali, and that is let me get my uh, that is this guy over here, and uh, wow, this looks really cool. Oh, I'm liking this. Yeah, that's uh, that looks that looks neat. I like this. Uh, I get the HUD back off here again, but uh, uh, big glass area cockpit, and I like how it's kind of uh, kind of goes in and back out a little bit, and then it has this really neat looking trim going along there. Um, that that looks pretty neat, and a uh, nice looking uh, thruster uh, display too over here. I like the side doors going on there. That is nice. Oh, it's got a big glass area on the back here. It's a really cool shaping on this ship. Um, and I love that. I love that red uh, trim going all around the body of the ship there. Um, and it's got some other colors going on here, too. So we got some grays and blacks and whites. And then this uh, kind of mixes it up over here with a little different uh, coloring again. Um, but it all fits, so It all fits really well. And then we also got some texture lights going on here. Um, as well. Oh, that's that is that is cool. That is cool. Nice stance too. I like uh, I like the way it just kind of sits on the ground here, as well. Yeah, especially that that red trim though. That red trim that is such a cool feature on this ship. Um, it's how it's it's very accurate and it goes all the way around. Uh, follows the the contour of the the shapes and the body. That's uh, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Um, wow. Yeah. No. That's that's pretty neat. So it doesn't look like it's it it doesn't look like it's a combat oriented ship. It's got some some defense and things like that on it, but it doesn't look like it's uh, meant to do like uh, fierce battling or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I definitely like it. That is that is a neat shape and design. And yeah, that that in, uh, just kind of split up of the colors just in that one section there. That's kind of neat how that's done. It's like everything else is like kind of following this uh, this format, and it's just like no, nope, let's do th let's do this over here, just to, just just there, stuff like that. So it's really uh, cool to see actually. It's uh, you know, I'm sure the author was trying to figure out, hey, I want to make this look even better yet. But what can I do? Um, and probably experimented with some different things and came up with that, and that's really cool. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go to go to the light thing here, and uh, wow, it's 
is a really cool looking bridge. But I like how it's textured in here too. So we got kind of the red. Oh wow. All kinds of LCD stuff going on here. Like this is uh, just an area where you'd uh, work on that. Huh. Yeah, I like the uh, kind of the uh, the flooring kind of just kind of goes down there without uh, the use of uh, staircases. Which actually, that looks pretty neat. I actually kind of like that too. Same thing on the front here. Like the use of uh, decals here, making things, adding a little more detail to everything. It looks like, uh, yeah. Nice little uh, pilot area over here, uh, and then those are passenger seats, and this is for, uh, uh, I guess, tall people here. <laughs> oh, no, no. Actually, when I'm standing normally, that's actually perfect. I get a little disoriented sometimes on the uh, block heights and things like that, but, uh, yeah, that looks neat. I like this whole, uh, uh, the way it's done, too, the, the block work around holding up those LCDs, which is kind of like a big terminal where people can stand and... Uh, take care of things as the uh, the pilots are doing their job there all kinds of switches here too so we got a uh, main power thruster shields forward spotlights and landing lights let's turn on these just for the heck of it uh, I'll leave the spotlights off though we don't need the shields for this but uh, oh and then the main core is right back over there too that looks neat kind of asymmetrically done with the piping going to the main core and there's behind a wall of glass there Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I'm confused. I am confused at uh, one thing here. Wow, okay. This is what's really screwed me up. I thought I thought this was a CV. I thought this was a CV. It's not a CV. It's an SV. I didn't pick that up. Wow, okay, so this is, uh, I thought this was, yeah, I thought that was a uh, reasonably small, um, well, not, not a super large um, uh, CV, but actually it's a really large SV. Um, I didn't, wow, I guess I wasn't paying attention very good. Yeah, I guess uh, in my, uh, my scaling was off. I didn't notice that as much until I got out of God mode when I was going around here. I didn't quite figure out what was going on here with the flooring and stuff like that. Now I can see how, like, this was pulled off. You couldn't do this with CV blocks. You just don't have the kind of block space and you need to make this kind of thing happen. But, yeah, you can with SV blocks. Just, okay, yeah, that is cool. So this is a really big SV. That is neat. Yeah, you can get a lot, a lot more uh, fine detail in with uh, SV blocks when you go through these areas. I always wanted to build something like uh, like a something like this, you know, really big, like size class 20 SV um, that appeared a lot like a CV. But uh, yeah, take a quite a quite a bit to uh, move these around here too. So what's this button here? Ah, neat. So that lit up this area. This looks like it's. Uh, some kind of bay or something you might pull in a different vehicle in. It's got a force field around there. Oh, I like the interior uh, decor here, too. That's that's neat. Um, cargo boxes. Wow. Oh, you know, on that last ship, I did forget forget to look at the... Or on the, uh, on the uh, big one there, I forgot to look at the uh, storage. Um... So I might have to uh, just take a look at that real quick in a bit, too. I like this uh, this end table here on the back side with this big glass uh, canopy going on here. Wow, yeah, sorry. I, for some reason, I don't know why. I didn't even, I looked at it, and I just thought it was a, uh, uh, I thought it was a CV. I really did. I guess I uh, didn't have my, uh, my uh, scaling very right there. I was just looking at it all, all the one, but this one's quite a ways away from that. And I just, yeah, interesting. And that is the way out over on the sides there. Okay. So it doesn't look like, uh, okay, so it looks like there's one floor going across here. So that, that makes a lot of sense. And I think I've seen it all on the inside here. 
Very nicely detailed though. Everything, yeah, it's really cool. What a, what a glass front window there. Uh, <laughs> that is that is pretty crazy. And uh, yeah, I definitely love that uh, that that carpeting kind of approach going on here too. Uh, did I go back here yet? Yes. Okay. So that just uh, makes your way back to this uh, end section here. Very cool. Very cool. All right, I'll go back in a god mode here a minute, and let's see what you look like at night. Yeah, it lights up really nice too. Um, I like that uh, this texture light uh, strip that kind of follows uh, you know, parts of the uh, contour of the ship. Quite a few areas actually, kind of on the inside over here where the uh, the wording is as well. Yeah, wow. So that's an SV. Jeez. I didn't even think about that. It's so weird when you uh, you get oh, like a little disoriented in uh, scaling on some things here. And uh, when you look at this from like just flying around in God mode, it, it does appear like it's a CV. It just, at least to me, I guess I got to pay attention for that. So this is a uh, size class 8. Oh, unlock level 20. So yeah, it's not it's not ginormous. I thought it I thought it was bigger than that. Um, so size class eight. Uh, looks like the uh, the speeds are really good on it too. Uh, 94 ms forward and and reverse. 80 lift, 78 down, 67 strafing. Uh, it's not running any RCS. Seven hour and 41 minute build time. Um, yeah, not not too much of rare resources either. Eight fuel tanks, uh, three oxygen tanks. Uh, CPU wise, uh, okay, so tier fours, but it's only using 87,000 of that, so it does have available CPU as well. Oh, I think I just I totally ran out of fuel. I think I think what had happened, I tried to fuel up that other ship, and it it sucked all the fuel tanks I had on me which I usually have a stack of like 4,000 of these just to uh, to fill this stuff up here but uh, I think I totally ran out I, I don't even think that even has even a half tank in it <laughs> so yeah no this is really cool really 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 cool okay so before I go to the last one I just wanted to look at one more spec on here and I, I apologize I forgot to do that I got so carried away with looking at the numbers on other things I forgot to look at its storage um, uh, holy smokes. Okay, so we got the numbered ones here. And, oh, my goodness. Hold on. I, uh, oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. It's got more storage than... I think if you mined all the resources on every planet in the galaxy... You might be able to hold it all in this ship. Uh, <laughs> so I could say, well, this is like a container controller 339 at 320K. I bet you most of these are that way. We'll just take some random samples here. Um, yeah, okay. So this would also by far take the cake for the most amount of storage I've ever seen in an Imperium creation. Uh by not just a little bit. Um, I've seen, you know, I thought, you know, if you got up or upward around like 30, 30, uh, 320K storage, you're, you're, you're really rocking a lot of storage, but this is, laughs at that. It's like, oh, 30. <laughs> I got like 350 or 400. <laughs> Probably more than that. Uh, <laughs> uh, that is crazy. That is crazy. Um, all right. Well, anyway, last creation for today here. Let me get the lights back on. And we've got this, uh, this really cool UNC-04 Retribution Heavy Cruiser by Jarvis 1563. And, uh, yeah, cool looking ship. Cool looking ship. Kind of, uh, it's got that more of a, you know, um, I don't know what kind of style ship you'd call this, but it uh, looks like a spaceship, you know. It's, uh, it's not trying to be, uh, like, super aerodynamic or anything. It looks like a kind of a frigate type of uh, ship of one origin or another a little bit different spin on it i like this indentation on the, on the side here also where the uh the uh, hangar door is 
and then the uh, it's kind of like rounded a little bit on the sides here, but it gets really, really round in this back section. Um, now that's kind of neat. Like how those are kind of like uh, the deco parts are uh, put in there. Kind of lines up to the uh, the rounded uh, hall side there. Oh, look at the back here. So it looks like, yeah, quite a few thrusters, but they're all behind grates and everything, too, which is kind of neat. It's kind of a nice defensive thing to try to keep those going a little bit more. We got our detector right there in the back. A couple, uh, couple turrets in the back there to kind of you know, keep the drones away and stuff like that. Turrets on the sides. Yeah, this is a pretty big ship here, too. Wow. Look along the top here. Oh yeah, I like the uh, the red accents on here, um, and that's got obviously some yellow accents too with the uh, the wood parts, but very very little of the the yellow uh, accents. But the uh, the red stripes uh, that looks that looks neat. It, uh, it just adds in a little more a uh, little more flavor, I guess you could say, on everything. And yeah, this this front area is kind of neat too. It almost looks like, a, yeah, like uh, you could ram stuff with it or something. Like it's some some kind of uh, something to push things out of the way. Uh, that is pretty. That is pretty cool here. I'm curious. I was looking for uh, entry points. Obviously, we got the hangar doors on the side there, but I was just kind of curious if there was a uh, a lower entry point. In fact to think of it this might be a more of a space only thing unless i'm missing it um but i'm not seeing any landing gear actually on here at least nothing that came down when i parked it so this might be more of a space oriented ship and then therefore um maybe you just go through the uh, the hangar doors on the side here so anyway let me uh let me adjust the lights here and i'll jump in here a minute Let's see what's going on all right, so we got a nice big uh, hangar area here. Looks clean. Um, got a repair bay over here. Repair console. I like the, uh, so that goes up. Looks like you got a catwalk kind of going along the uh, top part of the hangar there on that side. So two station, cargo box. Uh, what do we got in here? It looks like, oh, yeah, a big old uh, cargo rack there. That looks pretty neat, having lots of those all together there. Kind of looks like it, uh, yeah, looks like it would work. Um, let's uh, head up this way here. It looks like we've got uh, some uh, some storage over here. I like the, uh, the, the LCDs over the storage con containers here. So we got a... Uh, Probably a couple of 320s in this room. Nice. And teleporter room over here. Nice. And, uh, yeah, displays. Oh, that looks really neat. Oh, that's that one deco part. That's, uh, but it backed up with uh, some of those kind of uh, curvy uh, thin blocks there. That looks really neat. I like that. I like that. That's a nice, nice touch there. Interesting look uh, through that with that particular deco part there. So then it looks like okay. So now we're at the catwalk above the hangar area. Nice. Oh, and we've got some blast doors down there too. So yeah, there's probably some option or switch to uh, to put those in place. I'm sure. I like the blinky lights over here for this uh, upper landing pad. It's like a couple upper landing pads, plus the lower ones there. Let's head back this way. Wow. Oh. All right, so it looks like we got our farm grow plot area here. Oh, I like the uh, like the LCD here. That's that's cool. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't come stock with the grow plots, but you can add them in really easily. So those are just placeholders for them. Um, three fridges over here, cooking station right in the middle, another three fridges on that side too. So a lot, a lot of places to store the, the, uh, the stuff. Uh, so then we, it looks like we got a, uh, 
med bay over here. So we got, uh, yeah, it looks like all the different uh, parts here. Kind of a big med bay here. Looks like you get a bunch of people could heal at once here. <laughs> so you've got, uh, yeah, those those parts. Uh, that looks that looks cool. That looks cool. I like that. Yeah, the kind of the uh, blue uh, texture uh, lights over here with some ventilator, uh, a ventilator. So med bay and that. So let's head back down there. Oh, and this is uh, armor repair, is it? Yeah, again, kind of, yeah, using one of those uh, kind of a thin block thing and just uh, showing it that way. That looks really neat. The center's nice. It looks good. I like that. Okay, we've been there. This gets us to our main hangar area. I just want to make sure. Okay, so it stops there. Let's go down this elevator. And... Oh, yeah. This looks like our bridge area here in our big, uh, like, heads-up screen there. Um... That's cool. Space communication. Captain, meet Space Cloud. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, it looks like I get, uh, yeah, these are both uh, pilot seats here, so that's that's cool. And then it looks like you got your main, probably, captain seat up over in this section here. So nice. Uh, more of a secure bridge kind of uh, setup. Uh, I didn't see any, like, visible, like, uh, first-person bridge on the outside of the ship. So that, that makes sense. And I think we did a full loop back around here. I like the piping on the ceiling there. That looks, that looks really cool. Oh, it's different on both sides, too. That's yeah, cool. It's cool. So looks like we got offline protection and a gravity generator over here. Nice LCD again. Ah, yeah, really cool. Yeah, no, it looks like it would... Uh, uh, you know, kind of a carrier type of uh, ship again. Uh, pretty good hangar space. Uh, a couple of extra landing pads over there. Um, uh, one sec here. Okay, so yeah, I was up up in here already too. All right. Ah, yeah. And again, that's really neat there. So I went out here. Let me get the lights back. I want to fly through this ship a little bit. Let's see. It looks like there's a lot more ship on the front than what I was able to walk to. So I have a feeling. Yeah, I have a feeling it is full of uh, uh, protection blocks and decoys. So uh, definitely looks like it's a uh, combat-oriented uh, ship, the way this uh, setup is, is being done up here. So that is pretty solid, too. It's got a lot of blocks there on the front. A lot of these little generators for the AI to uh, want to shoot, things like that. It looks like we've got a Wi-Fi uh, kind of embedded in there. And yeah, it really looks solid. Actually, even to this point, this whole area up here is pretty much just solid. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of uh, a lot of armor on the front here. And yeah, it looks like the the side walls are yeah they're 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 padded too. Not as much as the front, but uh, yeah, um, quite a bit of padding there. So it definitely uh, looks like it's set up to do. Uh, uh, attack things on the front side of your ship, and it looks like it would be able to just just take a lot, a lot of damage uh, before anything you'd notice uh, happened. Uh, we'd have to AI would have to be at it for a long time, actually. Unless, of course, you were fighting this ship, and it's, it would hit you with the ginormous amount of artillery uh, artillery uh, turrets there. <laughs> Those hurt pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, that's a, that, that is really cool, really cool. So let's take a look at some specs here. So uh, to start with, I'll just start in uh, statistics. So we're size class 8 again. Um, looks like it's got some pretty good speeds going on here. 119 uh, MS uh, forward, 30 strafing, 30 up and down, and 60 in reverse. Uh, 30 hour and 40 minute build time, 16 fuel tanks, 16 oxygen tanks. And it looks like a... Uh, uh, a loadout that doesn't try to um, um, break the bank, I guess, or, or try to like push it over default weapon limits and things like that. So uh, 10 flak, uh, 10 plasma, 12 minigun, and a detector on here, at least stock. Um, 
CPU wise, oh, actually, it, it gets uh, uses most of that 10 million. You got about 400,000 CPU left over, though. So I do believe there's another uh, grouping of turrets. I think that you could add to this, unless I'm mistaken on that. Um, like I didn't see anything necessarily in the uh, the laser type, unless that no, that probably counts as plasma. So those are three types, and this would also count as rocket. These count as cannon as well. So 32, and that might be right. That may be right. I think they're the only turrets that you could technically add on here without like uh, going past the default weapon limits is a couple artillery uh, turrets. Um, don't say, uh, no launchers on here. Um, let's take a look at it, storage and things. So let's see retribution. So quite a bit. So I'm looking at these uh, storage controllers over here. It kind of looks like they're all uh, 320s. So that would be eight. Uh, and then we got some uh, controllers here for ammo. Looks like we got two of those. So that'd be 10 uh, total 320Ks. And then uh, a bunch of boxes and things like that. So yeah, a bunch of cargo pallets and other miscellaneous items in there for storage. Yeah, very, very cool. Very, very cool. So yeah, that is uh, that's uh, what I've uh, seen this week. Now there's some other things I wanted to uh, pick and show too. Um, so I have to kind of, you know, I don't want to have too many creations on here. I already figured this video is going to be pretty long. Some of these, uh, especially that one that uh, I wanted to uh, bring in was, I knew it was really, really big, really, really big. So it takes a while to walk through these, but uh, uh, we'll see what happens. I'll try to get back to some of the other ones that I didn't uh, look at this week um, in future weeks. I'll just keep them in mind. I've been kind of making like a list. Um, so uh Anyway, really, really cool uh, creations. Again, a lot of uh, a lot of variety. Um, of, uh, got this SV over here that I thought was a CV, but again, love love that trim ring border uh, going on there. That that just looks uh, that looks really really cool. Um, this ship uh, wins the awards for probably the most amount of most things I've ever seen in a creation, <laughs> especially especially fuel tanks. Um, and storage, I mean, uh, and artillery uh, turrets. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen so many on a uh, ship. Um, but this thing, and it moves. I, I mean, with all that, it, it moves. But it's got, well, a, a ridiculous amount of thrusters on it, too, to, uh, to make that happen. But, yeah, really, really cool. Talk about a, uh, a capital ship here. One last uh, spec. I'm just curious how long. I, I never looked at how long this one is here uh come on work there it goes uh mass size where is our yeah, our length so i'll have to figure that out but at 478 meters long uh, i'd have to translate that to feet to really understand that but um it's big it's a very very big ship <laughs> anyway you all have yourself a uh, a great weekend and uh I may have another video update tomorrow on my current new project, which is working on a bird of prey type of ship. I got some more work done on that uh, last night, and maybe I'll get a little bit more done and try to show it tomorrow. But anyway, you all have yourself a great day. I will talk to you later.